Seattle sports fans are openly embracing our newest pro team, the Seattle Kraken. And now there's a new book for kids interested in learning more about the sport. The author is a UW alum who went on to play hockey in Finland. Here's Amity's conversation with athlete turned author, Ryan Minkoff. I'm so excited about this new book that you've written, which could not have come at a better time because of the rise of the Seattle Kraken and kids like Nora in your book are discovering mm -hmm. hockey for, for the very first time. What was your inspiration in writing this? So I actually started writing this book when I was playing in Finland and I was volunteering in the schools, um, helping in English classes and talking about U.S. culture. And I was thinking about things my sister went through growing up playing with the boys. And I was influenced a lot by the Minnesota Whitecaps and my my mom was the business manager, so I was around them a lot, and I just saw all the how motivated they were and the inspiration that they played with and just the passion that they played with without getting really any uh, right. accolades or money. So speaking of your sister, you decided to make Nora, a girl, the central character in your book, on an, playing on an all-boys team. Yeah, that was really important because um, that's how my sister started playing. Um, that's how really uh, all women's players especially years back it's, it's yeah. obviously improving today but most women players they had to start playing with the boys because there were no girls or women's associations um so i thought that was really important to showcase in this book because that's not easy to do and there there was always kind of and i learned this from my sister there's always kind of some animosity or just just it's a there was just a different feeling when there was a girl on the ice with an all-boys really? team, you, you you had guys that would kind of look out for them, but at the same time, you had players that would just kind of come after them and, and want them to not belong. It's a hard thing, but it's important to read. But this isn't just a book for, for girls. It's for everyone, anyone who can relate to the motivation and perseverance it takes to succeed at a sport. One, it's, it's great for promoting the game for women's hockey and girls' hockey, but I think it's great for for boys to read too, um, because it's important for them to understand the perspective yeah. and they they can also take um, points of inspiration and, and points of just showing how, if you love what you're doing and you have a, a passion to not let the detractors or um, challenges stop you from, from trying to get to where you want to get to. You also introduce a mentor for Nora in this book, which is fitting because these days you are coaching junior Kraken hockey, right? Yeah. Yeah. I coach a 12 U team. It's been a lot of fun. I, I definitely enjoy the mentor side of the sport. I mean, I, I run a hockey agency too, and that's kind of the same, same type of uh, work, but it's for a little older players. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely enjoy giving back. That's a big part of my life for sure. How does the future of the sport look right now in Western Washington? Yeah. It, uh, it's interesting to look at. I mean, it, it uh, there's definitely not very many, uh, women's associations out here. So I'm curious to see how that grows, but I, the sport's definitely gonna take off. Um, I've, I've seen a lot more people inquiring about it and just going out and skating and, and trying trying to skate. Um, I've learned leader skate program. So um, I definitely see it uh, growing and obviously the more rinks that pop up, the, the better for the sport. Couldn't agree more, and honestly, I think I could learn a thing or two from his book.